In this tutorial in Cyberlink Power Director, we're going to look at how you can make a series of titles rotate into the same position using the title reveal mask. Please look at the following example and then we'll show you how to create that yourself. I have my finished product very far on the right on the timeline. We're going to replicate it on the left. So I'm starting with my video. It's this gentleman sitting here and doing some drawing in a book. So what I want to do is add several titles. We're going to focus in particular on one kind of title. But the first one we start out with is a Discover Your Creativity. So we just drop that title in on track number two. When we play it, we'll see it will come in animated. The one I want to focus on is the next one where we take the words create, design, reflect, and grow and cause them to appear in the same space sequentially. So I'm going to my title room and we'll take our default my title, drag it down to the next title track. Now let's do some editing. I'm going to click on the edit button and go to the advanced section. And now we're going to type in our titles. First of all, I want to format them. So I'm going to click down here and we'll change the formatting of this to something pretty bold. Let's try this one here. And then what I want to do is change the title text. So I can do that one of two places. I can click on it here or I can move up to the my title and change it in the upper left. Let me do it there. The first one is create. Okay, and let's see what size we want. Yeah, let's take a 20, well, let's go up all the way to 28. You notice I placed my grid on, that's by clicking on the box in the lower right below the previous screen, and I've turned my grid lines on to an eight by eight. They may be helpful, you can turn them on or off as you so choose. So I've got create, we'll just drag this over here. And well, let's do another one. I click on the plus T to create another one. It will use the same fonts. The next one is design. And you notice the default it starts it in the beginning, in the middle. We don't care for now. We'll do another one. We'll move all the titles later. I'll click again. The third one is reflect. Drag that out of the middle someplace. And we'll take the last one. And the last one is grow. Now we want all of these to appear in the same place. How do we do that? Well, let's take the create first of all and position that where we want it. I'm using the grid lines here. That looks like a good spot right there. Now I want to do some keyframing, but I also want to do some timeline markers. So we'll start with create, which is my first title here. I only want it to be one second long. So I'm just going to start with, with one and zero and I just type that in in the time code. And here I'm going to hit a add timeline marker and hit OK. Type in the number two, press enter and add a timeline marker at two. Don't have to give it a name. I'm going to do one at three. Right click, add timeline marker. One, two, three. And that will give me four. Okay, I also want to add one at the very beginning, so I go to the home. I don't need a marker, I'm just going to add a position value on this one. There's a keyframe. So I've got this one, and I need one at 10 here. So I'm going to hit 10, 10 frames, and I'll add a timeline marker. And I'm going to add one at 110. I type in the 1 here, 110. In my time code, add timeline marker. And then I want one at 210. Add, climb, add timeline marker. And then one at 310. Add timeline marker. So I have my timeline markers. They're all created. Now we go up to two seconds, and that's the duration of create. Okay, next one we're going to take design. Design will start at two seconds and go to three seconds. Okay. 
We'll minimize the rest of design and we'll take reflect. Reflect will go from three or grow. And we can leave that on the screen for the rest of the duration. So if we play this right where they are, here's what we're going to see. Create, design, reflect, and grow. Now what we want to do is we want them to show up all in the same place. So we're going to start out with our create. And I'm going to actually take my control here and disable the other three. So I, I have create. Now what I want to do with create is do a couple special things. We're going to go back to our timeline controls and I have a position value where it starts there. I'm going to click over here and set another position value 10 frames in. And what I want it to do is move up to that location. But in order to do that and not see the movement, we're going to turn on the title reveal mask. And I don't need it to maintain aspect ratio. I can if I want. But we're going to take the mask and we're going to change the size of it. And we're going to move it. All I need visible is just under create. So it doesn't matter too much exactly how I do it. I'm going to just move it right under the word create. And then we're going to go back to the first timeline marker. And I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to lower create just below the mask. So you will not see it. It will just pop up in those 10 frames between the two timeline markers on position value. And so I'm using the keyboard because it's nice and straight and easy. It takes a little bit to do it. And we'll get it right just below and start there. That looks good. So I have create done. Now if we just play create, it just pops up. Play it again so you can see it clearly. Okay, there's create. We want to do the same one with the second one. We're going to we're going to turn on design. I'm going to leave create on the screen because I want to move design so it's actually on top of create. So I'm going to use the arrow keys again. And that's where I want it to start. Now I'm going to turn off hide create. Take my design. We're going to edit it. We'll use the title reveal mask again for design. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with create. We just have to have it we'll move the mask. Oh, that's the title. I'm going to move the mask up just a little bit more right there. Okay, and that's where design is. And then we set two keyframes for design. I'm going to open it up wider here so we have the, the position values. One here. And we're going to go back to the other keyframe. One here. And we want the second one to be where it is. We want the first one to be underneath the title reveal mask. And so we'll drag it down. I'm using the keyboard again because it works really good at this process. All right, and now I have design. And so you see the procedure. I'm going to, I'm going to turn back on create and design. And let's see what it looks like when we have them together. We play it, create, and then design. And basically we'll do the same two things with reflect and grow. I'll pause the video while we do the same thing with those two. So now we're going to look at what we have when we have all of them active. I've activated all of the tracks. We'll play this. We'll have create, design, reflect, and grow. And so you can see exactly what we've done with all of them. I'm going to expand the keyframe areas here. And here's my create. I have two keyframes. It goes up to the, this other mark here. And design, we have the same and reflect. And then we'll click down here and we'll expand the, the one for grow. So we have the same procedure on all of them. When I'm done, I click on OK. And now I'm going to take my other title that I have after this is done and just put it back here. We can take our, our music and put it on. I don't have the audio turned on here, but when we turn the whole thing on, 
we're going to watch it play. We have Discover Your Creativity, and then we have these four things. And what I would probably do in this case, I would take these elements and then I'll move them over just a little bit. So the first title is there by itself. We'll just take this and just drag them over a little bit now. And now we have a somewhat final version where it's Discover, and then we have Create, Design, Reflect, and Grow. So that's how you can cause multiple titles to occupy the same space sequentially using the Title Reveal Mask. Mm -hmm.